kind of surprising for a lot of people is we do have some natural disaster risks. We're one of only nine states that does not have a state income tax. They just automatically assume we all lived in a casino, whether your mom was a showgirl or a stripper. This might surprise you, but thousands of people are moving to Northern Nevada. And today we're gonna to talk about what are my 10 top pros to why you would want to live in Northern Nevada. So if you stick around to the end, we're gonna talk about the top 10 cons as to why do people may think about not wanting to move to Northern Nevada. So if you're someone who's thinking about moving to Reno, Nevada, and you're looking for more content about Northern Nevada and all the great reasons why someone would live here, by all means, please subscribe to the channel, hit the bell so you'll be notified. We have great content coming out every week. So we're gonna start with the pros first. Let's start with number one, and I'm calling it Let's Get Outside. And this is one here in Northern Nevada that you can do all year long. So whether you like to go out when the weather's warm and play golf or sit on the beach at Lake Tahoe, or you're more into the winter activities and you're a skier, a snowboarder, whatever it might be, there is endless amounts of outdoor activities. And even in our events calendar during the whole summer months, there's things you can do outside all year long. So go check out some of the other videos we've done on our channel already about all kinds of things about getting outside in Northern Nevada. So pro number two is cost of living here versus all other major cities on the West Coast. And we just went in depth and did a big video about the cost of living here in Reno Sparks. Like I keep saying all along, you can get your housing situation, whether you're a buyer or a renter figured out. We are one of the most affordable cities compared to all the other major West Coast cities. And we still have the benefits of being a small town and we're getting more and more of the amenities that you'll see in a larger town. So go check out our cost of living video. It'll break all the details down for you of why living here is not as expensive as you might think. So pro number three is tax-free living. I'm joking, gonna say goodbye to state income taxes. And this is one of the biggest factors as to why people are moving here from California and some of those other states that actually are still paying their fair share of income taxes. We're one of only nine states that does not have a state income tax. And so it's one of the huge benefits of people living here. Our property taxes are pretty fair and our sales tax is only 8.27%, which is lower than most of the other major Western cities. But again, we did another video with our CPA talking about all kinds of benefits, whether it's bringing your business here, working here. It's an amazing place to benefit from the taxes that the state of Nevada has to offer. So pro number four is we are family friendly and there are events to do here all year long. So we did a video specifically about events, but there's so many other events that literally run from about April all the way through October. And those don't even go into the fact that there's parks and museums and festivals, and there's all kinds of activities outside. And it doesn't matter whether you're raising younger kids or older kids, there's events for everybody, regardless of what your age is. You can also dive into the arts and culture scene. There's festivals that go all, all year long. There's pub crawls. There's a Santa crawl during the wintertime, uh, obviously around the holidays. And there's just always something to do and explore here. So if you go look at the events calendar, there's lots of websites that talk about all these different kinds of events. There's always something fun to do here, regardless of your age. Pro number five is the diverse and fantastic dining options. The food and bar scene here in Northern Nevada has changed dramatically over the last decade here in Northern Nevada. And we started talking about it more and more on this channel. We've done lots of different videos about it. So if you wanna go check those out, whether it's about eating dinner out, eating breakfast out, we did one about bars and breweries and cocktails. We've even recently brought in two of my favorite places to go eat, which are South Creek Pizza and the Stone House. And we interviewed the owners for them. So if you're looking for those places, whether it's in Midtown or Downtown, or depending on what area you have in town, that you live, there's lots of restaurants basically all over the place, but it is dramatically different. And I think it's much more of a foodie scene than people actually realize. So you should definitely check out the amazing food and dining options we have here in Northern Nevada. And that leads me right into pro number six, which is the entertainment and nightlife. And this area features a lively nightlife with casinos and bars and clubs, and there's all sorts of entertainment venues. We have live music and comedy shows. You can even go up to Lake Tahoe. Some of the casinos have a lot of live performances and concerts up there. The Shakespeare Festival is out there on the beach. So the events calendar you can find with all things going on in Northern Nevada is at visitrenotahoe.com. They have a great website, so go check it out. You can find a lot of great things that are going on here around the area. So pro number seven is the weather. We have sunshine all year round and we have amazing scenery. So if you've never been here and got to check out the mountains, we get crazy cool clouds and we have amazing views. And literally, if you go look it up, we have over 300 days a year of sunshine. So the weather typically is not too hot in the summertime, not too cold in the wintertime. Obviously we get some snow. Obviously we're gonna get a few days every year over hundred degrees, but we do not have those extremes very much. So it allows you to get outside on a year round basis, whether it's a nice bluebird sunny day on the mountain going skiing, or you wanna set a pool 
or at the beach at Lake Tahoe, the weather here is top notch. So pro number eight is the community connection. And even through my 36 years of living here in Reno, the city has grown tremendously over the years. We still operate like a small town in many ways. The people are nice and friendly here and you always are just a person away of meeting somebody who knows someone, whether you're looking for a job or a babysitter or you need a dentist. It's really a good community as far as being able to get referrals and references to people, regardless of who you need. Just reach out to people. Everybody's really friendly here and you'll find exactly what you're looking for. Pro number nine is we are so close to many places and they're easy to get to. With all the new upgrades they're making at the airport, you need to go check out the video we did on that. They're making it easier and easier to get around the country. And I always say, we are short flights away from LA, the Bay Area, Seattle, Portland, Phoenix, Vegas. There's lots of easy places to get around the country. And with that being said, you can then of course get international real quick. I mean, I know for me, I fly from Reno to Seattle and from Seattle, I've been to London, Dublin, Amsterdam. It's a lot easier to get around than you think. And also not a far drive. It's four hours to the Bay Area. It's a little over three hours to say Napa, Sonoma a little more than two hours of Sacramento. And if you're feeling a need to drive all the way down to Las Vegas, it's really about seven-ish hours. So we're very conveniently located no matter where you're trying to go over the Western major cities. And then usually you're only one connection away from getting anywhere in the country. I do know if you go to the, like I said, the airport website, we're gonna have some seasonal flights. So whether you're trying to get to Chicago or Dallas or New York, there's lots of places to get to and we're easy and our airport is convenient as hell. And pro number 10, and there's a few items on this one is, it's a supportive business environment. We have great access to healthcare, low crime rates. And like I just mentioned before, we're a very tight knit community where I feel it's easy for people that are moving here to become a part of it, get indoctrinated into it and find where they're going to fit in this great community of Northern Nevada. So if you're somebody who was thinking about buying a home here in Northern Nevada, and you're just starting to feel like concerned about the prices are too high, or maybe I missed the market, or I'm just worried about what's going on out there, hit the link that we're going to put on the screen right now so that you can go get our free guide that will give you some confidence on what you need to know about not being fearful about what's going on in the market out there. You can always set an appointment with us as well to meet in person or through Zoom so we can help you make good, smart real estate decisions. So now we're gonna go with the cons. Con number one is limited public transportation. The options here are not great. We do have a bus system that runs, but honestly, if you do not have a car, it can make things pretty tough to get around here. There are some people I know, depending on where you live and where you work, that can get around by walking or riding a bike, but for sure, we definitely have a limited public transportation compared to a lot of other major cities. Con number two is tourist crowds. So during the peak tourist seasons, especially when some of the larger events are happening, the airport can become crowded. There's definitely gonna be more traffic, whether it's street vibrations with the motorcycles or whether it's hot dog nights with cars everywhere. Definitely causes the downtown area, whether you're trying to get in restaurants or just get around the community, it can definitely get a lot busier. Long-term, the benefits outweigh anything that in the short term drives the locals here crazy. It just brings in a lot of income and revenues to our community, but it definitely can get busy, especially in some of those downtown areas during the big tourist season. So con number three is high desert climate. And we did a specific video about living at elevation and what it's like to be in a high desert climate. You have to remember, even at our lowest point, we are still over 4,000 feet of elevation. For some people, that's pretty tough. I know people come here and they get dry mouth and they're super thirsty. They might get headaches. They feel like they're always out of breath and maybe their skin is super dry. So for me personally, I've lived in Nevada since 1979. I love the weather here. But if you're new to high elevation, high desert climates, it can be challenging and tough for some of you that are new to that kind of thing. Con number four is wildfire risk. And yes, in our area, we do occasionally get wildfires. And unfortunately, I do know a few people who have lost homes over the years. It's a pretty rare occurrence, but it can happen. And unfortunately, it seems like every time it happens, we are in some sort of high wind situation. So if you do end up in a property that is a little more outlying or maybe on acreage, you definitely want to make sure you have defensible space around your properties. There's companies here locally that can help you with those type of situations. And again, like I said, it's kind of on a case by case basis. But if you do move here or you already live here, and you have questions and concerns about that, by all means, just reach out to us. We can point you in the right direction. So which leads me into con number five, which are air quality concerns. And this can happen, especially when there are wildfires. And many times the fires are nowhere even close to where we are. Northern California over the years has gotten quite a few large fires. And because of that, you'll see smoky skies and really bad air here over the valley. I mean, I've been here 36 years. It doesn't happen very often. It seems like in the last six to eight years, it's happened more And there was one summer a few years ago, man, it seemed like it was smoky all summer long, but typically you don't see it more than a week here or a week there most years. In the last couple of summers, it's actually been really nice. 
Con number six is the education system. And I have no clue how they decide how to rank school districts or how one state gets ranked better or worse than another. We brought one of my really good friends on. We talked all about the school district. You can check that video out as well. I personally disagree with this one. I know most of the people that live here seem like they went to the schools here, went to the university here, and there seems to be a lot of very successful people that come from either the university or the Washoe County School District. If you look up online though, they are gonna talk about Nevada always being one of the lowest ranked states in education system, but there's lots of good options here for education. So just know you can't always judge a book by its cover and I can always put you in touch with a lot of my teacher friends who can give you more of the inside scoop on what's really going on with the education system here in the Reno area. So con number seven is traffic congestion. And as our city and population has grown, it's becoming a little bit bigger and bigger concern for people. They're starting to have a little bit longer commutes. Many are driving in the snow from areas that they've never driven in the snow from. So we get Californians that maybe are new to that. Some of the roads are getting a little bit overcrowded. It's being worked on. The whole Spaghetti Bowl project really made the big interchange a whole lot better. But depending on where you live and where you work, you definitely need to pay attention to what times of days that you're driving around because there are definitely some areas now that become a little more crowded and it's definitely made those commute times and that traffic a little more messy. So con number eight is water and drought concerns. Due to the dry and arid climate, we have over the years had concerns about water and where sometimes you have to face restrictions, which means instead of watering your grass every day, you can only walk, you know, do it once or twice a week. It can definitely affect what type of landscaping you want to put in, outdoor activities. Some of the waterways and lakes around the areas have definitely gotten lower over the years but it seems like it comes and goes. I think sometimes the concerns are a lot bigger deal or they make it a lot bigger deal than it really is, but it is just something that we do have to pay attention to on occasion, especially if we have multiple dry years in a row, but it hasn't been something that's come up in the last handful of years. So just know something to pay attention to, but not a huge concern. So number nine con is gaming culture. Many find casinos and gaming and what comes with it, not so much for them, especially in Reno Sparks. It is a much smaller part of our city than what's down in Las Vegas. Vegas and Reno are nothing like each other. It is much more of an entertainment and gambling and casino town in Las Vegas. Reno used to be that when I first moved here 35 years ago, but that has gone away. There's not that many casinos downtown and it's just not as big a culture as it used to be. I grew up in Las Vegas and my dad and my stepmom lived in Southern California. And every time we'd go to California and tell people we lived in Las Vegas, they just automatically assumed we all lived in a casino, whether your mom was a showgirl or a stripper, or that everybody lived and worked in casinos. And I'm like, we didn't go to the strip. We stayed off of those areas. And even in Reno, when you live here, you can go in some of the local casinos and there's some great restaurants and things to do in some of these places. But it's just something to be aware of that if you're someone that maybe has a little bit of a gambling addiction or maybe drinks too much and doesn't wanna get caught up in that whole gaming and casino culture, it's just something to be aware of and careful with, but just realize Reno and Las Vegas, we are not the same. And con number 10, which is kind of surprising for a lot of people is we do have some natural disaster risks. In addition to the wildfires that we mentioned earlier, we do have earthquakes here and you feel them all the time. I don't say all the time, but you definitely have had them. I've been plenty of times with buildings shaking or houses moving. Fortunately, we've had nothing major that has happened. Another thing that happens here potentially are avalanches. Just at the time we shot this video a week or two ago, they literally got eight plus feet of snow in a day or two up at the mountains. And so because of that, you have to be real careful. Unfortunately, we all know someone's got caught up in an avalanche. So it's one of those things, especially in the wintertime, you gotta pay attention to the avalanche risk up at all those ski resorts and all the mountains, especially for people that are going a little bit more in the backcountry. And with all that snow, we also have to be careful then, if it gets really warm really quick, all that snow starts to melt and our river runs right through the middle of town, Truckee River. And so there's been plenty of times where the river has flooded. And so depending on where you live and where your business is and things on those, those lines, you have to be careful with flooding. So in addition to the flooding, the one other thing that we do get here on occasion are very high winds. I mean, I'm talking winds that would be upwards of 100 miles an hour. In all the years I've lived here, I know it's happened at least a half dozen times. Sometimes we get them 60, 80 miles an hour. It's damn near hurricane, tornado type winds. So it's just something to be careful about a lot of times because we do property management. That's when we get the phone call where a lot of people's roof shingles, and their fences will go down. I've not seen too much more damage really than that. An occasional tree might go down, but it's just another thing you have to be careful about that we do get occasionally some strange weather around here. So these are my 10 biggest pros as to why I love living in Northern Nevada and why I think you might too, and some of the cons that might have you thinking twice about why you might not want to live in Northern Nevada. So if you're looking for a few other cons that might be a bigger deal to you than some of the people that live here, go check out this other video that we've shot and tell us what you think.